so pretty. a little bit but it's fast right I won't <laughs> I'm already hungry so don't tell me that <laughs> dragon boating just ruins me didn't it <laughs> I already know like a lot about the guys just from stalking that and the being on my phone and stuff I could memorize it and just freak people out I remember weird things like I know um Miko has a an introverted tortoise and two black cats and he enjoys high chi yeah I know it does <laughs> we'll try to remember everyone's um Profiles, places where people were born, though, that's just, I get that mixed up. I'm like, I sort of have an idea. <laughs> Canada, but I don't know where. I don't know, but I'm bad with places. Where were you born then? I'll try to remember. Where? See, yeah, I knew that. I did know that. I forgot. <laughs> but no, but I did know that. <laughs> Someone was. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this does, but it's alright. <laughs> something I watch, or something Blake watches films in Chicago. Oh, I'm hearing the voice and everything. And it's Oh, what show is that? God, I want to know what that TV show is. <laughs> really doesn't help that the Law and Order music is playing around the background right now. It's not Law and Order, is it? We're racing and no one even knows it. Mom, why are we turning this one? Oh, okay, so you are planning this. Yeah, this plan. Sean, there's some TV show I must watch. It's set in Chicago, and the guy begins and he says, I was born in Chicago, what was the place? Illinois? And like, that's all I can hear. And the accent sounds like yours, but it's a TV show and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> We're not very mum, 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 Yeah, but then she does the opposite. <laughs> If I do left, you'll bang down your right thinking it would turn you left. I knew you wanted to secretly land on it, I could tell. I know, I'm actually gonna keep it. So loud. <laughs> It was half on purpose, half we didn't know how to get out of it. <laughs> no, mum, the opposite, the opposite, mum. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were so close to actually dodging. And then you <laughs> No, 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 but if you actually did left, when I said left instead of right, oh, okay, we yeah. would have gotten away fine, but instead you backed straight into it. Okay, let's go more, a little more to the right so we don't, okay, alright. No, but there's a nice big up ahead. Come on, just go slightly to the right. Okay. No, but I made a big one right there. Did you see the ice plate? What? <laughs> 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 I think it's why I'm gonna pop up over there. We'll wait. Mm -hmm. It is 11.15 right now and look how light it is. PM. PM, PM. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. It is 11 PM right now and look how light it is. How crazy is it? An iceberg off in the distance. Very cool. <laughs> 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 
She like crawled in. Like all embarrassed about her pajamas. She's so short. Look at her. Those are so not pajama pants. <laughs> I can see her arch cheeks. That was that pajama pants. Today is actually the last day on land. How weird is that? I don't know if that went fast for you guys at all. Probably not because you've been watching it over many, many videos. But for me, it started getting really, really fast, kind of like in the middle. And it's just sped up ever since. So yeah, last day on land today. We're stopping at two places. One is like this big island. It's called Deception Island. It's kind of in like a U shape and the gap that we're entering is tiny. So we're actually going through it right now, which is really, really cool. And then afterwards, we're going to another place. Yeah, and I think it's like an island and it goes like that. Good and I think there morning, were- kayakers. Anyway, sorry about that interruption. I'm so used to hearing them that I looked back in the video and I realized I was just staring blankly down the lens because I just automatically stopped talking because it's a habit now. We don't know if we're going to be kayaking or on land. We never know until we get there. So right now we found out in this island, the winds are at, I think, 35 knots, which is really, really strong. Well, not really, really strong, but like too strong to kayak. So we can't do the really, really long kayak, but we may be able to do a small one around the middle because there'll be more protection. And then we also might be doing in the afternoon, but again, we'll see. We don't know these things, which is so weird for me because I always plan everything. So the fact that I can't even know what I'm going to be doing in 10 minutes, like if I have to put my dry suit on or anything, I never know. It's so, so weird. Also, this is random. Last night on the boat, they had an auction. So basically they sold a whole bunch of Antarctica stuff and then the money went towards two different charities. I think one of them was like a South Georgia conservation. And then the other one was going towards managing the way that they fish because they don't fish in a manageable way right now like they sort of just grab all the krill and um the fish and stuff from areas where all the animals need it when they could kind of spread out and it could be a better system for the environment all righty kayakers our wind speeds have been over 40 if not 50 knots <laughs> so unfortunately reaching protection from 40 knots is, is highly unlikely <laughs> It's constant announcements. This is why I haven't spoken to the camera too much because it's just way too annoying. Anyway, what I was going to say is that we raised about $12,000, which I thought was honestly like amazing. They've had years which one thing has raised like $18,000. It's crazy. It's so, so cool that they do that. One of the prizes that they gave away was actually like this big map of Antarctica and one of the guides, Christian, actually like drew photos on it, which was absolutely amazing. So I went up to him last night and I said that like he's really talented and it looked amazing and stuff. When I was kayaking, water went inside my gloves and that doesn't really happen to anyone. I don't know, my technique must be crap or something. And they were so cold because as soon as I was like still and I wasn't moving my hands, then they like froze up. So he called me high maintenance because I was using someone else's gloves. Like he was half joking, but like that's all he said to me. And then the only thing I said to him yesterday was the compliments. So I was like, yeah, killing him with kindness. Just remembered another thing. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, oh Deception Island. This message is a message for the kayakers we had a few come up and ask us what our conditions are like outside for paddling they already said we just... anyway that was sean he's actually my favorite so it's okay that he interrupted but still very annoying basically for the charity auction a guy called hadley which is one of the guides he was hosting it and like everyone finds him really attractive an old lady in the crowd yelled out are you for sale which was so funny basically he got auctioned off for a dinner date and it was really funny because mom turned to me and she's like oh you should put your hand up and i was thinking like i'm in a long-term relationship what are you doing mom of course i'm not gonna do that and then like 10 minutes later mum puts her hands up for $200 I'm like what are you doing mum you're married and I think he sold for probably like 500 US dollars which is actually quite a lot and an old lady gets to have a date with him tonight which is very exciting <laughs> it's so windy here I feel like we're on Mars right now I know Mars is obviously a lot more red toned. Nice walking on um, actual ground though. No, it wasn't easy. You have to go straight down. <sighs> At least it's not a big one. Like over there, scary. You can jump down there and scare a few people. Yeah, I was actually jumping. Like picking out the turf. Uh, quite a large body here for sure. 
Guys, I just walked into this. There's an elephant. That is so, so cute. They must have worked out I'm here because you guys didn't get an elephant. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, look at the little eyes. <laughs> so, so oh, cute. I'm not exaggerating how wobbly it is. This isn't it being rough either. Ooh. I'm doing the honour of filming my view out the window. Well, not my view because I can't see it, but the view of the waves. Is there any big ones? Or is it calm oh, now? Again. No, it was huge. <laughs> Oh, falling backwards. Yeah, 